and the broom. The witch had a cat and a hat that was black and a long ginger hair and a braid down her back. How the cat purred and how the witch grinned as she sat on her broomstick and flew through the wind. But how the witch wailed and how the cat spat when the wind blew so wildly it blew off her hat. Dad. Cried the witch and they flew to the ground. They searched for the hat but no hat can be found. Then out of the bushes on thundering paws there bounded a dog with a hat in his jaw. He dropped it politely then eagerly said as the witch pulled the hat firmly down on her head. cried the witch and the dog clambered on. The witch tapped her broomstick. And whoosh, they were gone. Over the fields in the forest they flew. The dog wagged his tail and the stormy wind blew. The witch laughed out loud and held onto her hat. But away blew the bow from her braid just like that. Oh, it's down already. <laughs> down cried the witch and they flew to the ground. They searched for the bow, but no bow could be found. Then out from a tree with an ear-splitting shriek, there flapped a green bird with a bow in her beak. She dropped it politely and bit her head low. Then the witch said, as she tied her braid in her bow, I have a bird and green and green so Is there room on the bird for a bird like me? Yes. Cried the witch, so the bird fluttered on. The witch tapped her broomstick. Whoosh! Over the reeds and the rivers they flew, the bird shrieked with glee and the stormy wind blew. They shot through the sky to the back of beyond. The witch clutched her bow but let go of her wand. Down. Cried the witch and they flew to the ground. The search for the wand but no wand could be found. Then all of a sudden from out from a pond leaped a dripping wet dog frog with a dripping wet wand. He dropped it politely then said with a croak as the witch dried her wand and folded her cloak. <coughs> cried the witch, so the frog bounded on. The witch tashed her broomstick and... and whoosh, they were gone. Over the moors and the mountains they flew. The frog jumped for joy. And the broom snapped in two. Down fell the cat and the dog and the frog. Down they went tumbling into a bog. The witch's half broomstick flew into a cloud. And the witch heard a roar that was scary and loud. Rah! Dragon. I'm a dragon, and you are a Cried the witch flying higher and higher. The dragon flew after her, breathing out fire. Ow. Cried the witch flying down to the ground. She looked all around, but no help could be found. The dragon drew nearer, and he started to drool. But just as he planned to begin on his feast, from out of a ditch rose a horrible beast. It was tall, dark, and sticky, and feathered and furred. It had four frightful heads and wings like a bird. And in its terrible voice, when it started to speak, was a yowl and a growl and a croak and a shriek. It dripped and it squelched and it strode from the ditch and it said to the dragon, Back, back my witch! The dragon flew back and he started to shake. I'm sorry, I made a mistake. It's, it's next to the next now on the sky. And he spread out his wings and was off through the sky. Then down flew the bird and down jumped the frog. Down climbed the cat and said the dog, Jordan. Oh, thank you, thank you. The grateful witch cried. You, Abby, the dragon's inside. Then she filled up her cauldron and said with a grin, Find something I really want to throw something in. So the frog found a lily, the cat found a cone, the bird found a twig, and the dog found a bone. They threw them all in and the witch stirred them well 
And while she was stirring, she muttered a spell. That out rose a truly magnificent broom. With seats for the witch and the cat and the dog, a nest for the bird, and a pool for the frog. Yes. Cried the witch, and they all clambered on. The witch tapped her broomstick. And whoosh, babe.